What is up guys, it is Sunday the 8th of May and this is your Tech News Roundup. You'll notice the change in background, you see, usually I'm in front of a wall or in a garden, but today we're standing next to Colossus. Now, more on that to in tomorrow's video, because it's not actually edited yet and we're filming this on a Saturday and the way it works. It just, trust me, you'll, you'll see more about this tomorrow, it's going to be great, tune in, it'll be lots of fun. So the first piece of news is actually video news, as yes, last night for me, tom yesterday for you guys, they unveiled the new 10 series with their tagline, The Power of 10, um, which is the 1060, the 1070, and the 1080. Intended to be, tw with the 1080 intended to be twice as powerful as the 980 Ti in VR performance. Now, generally across the board, it is roughly 1.2 to 1.3 times better in things like Tomb Raider at 4K, but it is really designed with VR in mind. So if you've just bought a HTC Vive, because why haven't you? The 1080 is the card to go for at the moment. It's expected to retail at about $600, with there being a collector's edition at $700, and will be released on the 27th. So anyone who's watching this, 19 days. Mark that in your calendar. In the second piece of news, anyone who watched Tech in Under 100 the other day will know that IBM released their quantum processor for anyone to use. So I explained, I mentioned it briefly in Tech in Under 100, let's mention it properly here. So IBM have a quantum processor which is being held in a cryogenic refrigerator because they are extremely temperature sensitive. And if you want to know why, click up here and you will see the video where I very, very quickly explain quantum processors in very fast words because I only had 100 seconds to do it and I had a full A4 sheet of paper worth of words. Quantum processors in under 100 seconds are great because they do calculations in terms of probability much quicker than a standard processor, meaning they're great for weather stuff. Again, just click there to find out properly. And it's the first quantum processor to be released for public use. So anyone can go in for free on their website and line up a task for this quantum processor to do, and it will probably knock it out in about 10 seconds because, you know, IBM. And only actually contains five qubits, but due to the exponential nature of it, it's actually faster than most CPUs that you would use for standard stuff. And in the final piece of news, anyone who likes playing FPS games just had a very fun week, as both Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 were officially announced with trailers, and they're both going in polar opposite directions. So Battlefield 1 has gone back all the way to World War 1, and they say you'll have larger vehicles you can man. Now they show tanks and planes, which have all been done before, but the interesting one is right at the end, they had a massive Zeppelin, and you might be able to pilot a Zeppelin. Imagine that, imagine piloting, how cool would that be? So I'm looking at Paul, he's, he's nodding, trust me. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare took it the exact opposite direction though. You have a ship that you have, not a ship, you have an airplane which turns into a spaceship and you do dogfighting in space, which is basically what you've done in the last two cards. So the, the use of two extremes for two competing games, they both really stuck their neck out. And, but I mean, my personal opinion is Battlefield is gonna win this without sparking a comment rage. I think a lot of people are really fed up of the fact that Call of Duty has just become shooting with almost lasers, but they're still bullets, and there's a, there's a reason you can't use future guns, but, you know, it's it's a completely convenient. The, the, the other interesting point being that Infinite Warfare will have zombies in, which was previously a Treyarch exclusive. So I've mentioned the change in background, which we're trying to do every episode. Also the change in shirt. So this, if I kind of do that, my, you, you can't see it, oh well. So this is a Destiny shirt. Oh wait, there's a Destiny logo on here. So I move up here, love me. So there we are, this is my Destiny t-shirt. I don't actually own Destiny, but you know, it's, it looks cool, so I wear it. Um, this, as I said, is Colossus. It deserves its own video, therefore it's getting its own video, which you can see tomorrow, hopefully with vlogs from today and tomorrow as I'm at Brands Hatch tomorrow, which should be fun. Make sure to stick around until after this because there's going to be so many outtakes. And then there's a video here, which is a video I recorded yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean yesterday for me, which means it went up on Thursday. And then if you look up here, you have a random video, which hasn't been decided yet. And I'm not telling you because that'd be spoiling. See you guys next time.